WZ MVP Mark here in Northern Idaho coming at you. Hey, I am studying for my general exam and I just kind of want to give you all a heads up on what I'm doing and maybe y'all can follow along and I can tell you results and how it works out for me. So I'm using the Pasture Amateur Radio General Class Test the Easy Way by Craig Buck K4IA. Uh, the 2019-2023 edition. Uh, that's really important. Uh, questions change July of 2019 this year. Um, the exam was updated. So this book goes through all the exam questions and it's not just the answers, the question and answer. It explains the question why it's important. Uh, the front goes through um, good means and methods, courtesies on the radio. Um, also tells you how to how to find the answer for yourself on as far as um, frequencies divided by 300 to get your bands things like that and help you so that on your test you're not just regurgitating memorized answers you can actually reason through things if you can't remember the answer and you know in basis of this we all want to be good operators and do a good job and be courteous to other people and not only you want to be able to pass on your knowledge to other ham operators or people that want to. They don't, you know, I've talked to a lot of people and then me at the beginning, I had no clue. I passed my technician's exam and was a terrible operator, but most of the th good things that I've learned is through v YouTube videos from other people out there that are willing to teach, let you know in a courteous way, and then other ham operators. I did also, though, go to the website uh, ARRL and uh, get the, the pool of questions. You, you can print all of these out. I think there's something like 500 questions, 417 or something like that. But your exam is going to have 35 questions. So this uh, just is basically printed out all of those. Um, the pool will give you the exact question that will be on the test. And it also highlights what the answer is going to be, D here, and gives you the answer here. So you can go through and study so you're familiar with what the questions are, what types they are, and you're going to learn some stuff too. Uh, that being said, I don't believe um, if this question's answer was D on this pool that it will be D on here. The answer will be 300 baud, but so you can't memorize stuff like that, nor do you want to. You want to learn, um, but that's just one thing that will help you to pass your exam. The exam is, you're supposed to pass the exam and you should use any study tool that you can to help you pass the exam. But being a ham operator with a general class, you should be a good ham operator and a knowledgeable general class. So you want to do that, you want to study, you want to learn, you want to pass your test, and you want to keep seeking knowledge. Um, like me, I'm a technician class, I'm trying to seek more knowledge and I hope that I can uh, do the general practice in only a few years and then when I think I'm ready or become a, a good general operator I'll move up to the extra. Hey I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Uh, I think I have one subscriber so far and I appreciate that. Um, if you got any questions, comments, please let me know. This is the first uh, real um, video that I'm using my tripod so I hope things are better. It still are not making you sick and I appreciate your comments. Uh, w, uh, W7 MVP out. Mark here in North Idaho. I appreciate you guys.